In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Anglican Church of Tanzania, which is the product of two missionary societies from England. The Church Missionary Society, CMS, which is evangelical in piety, and the University's Mission to Central Africa, UMCA, which is Anglo-Catholic. The first CMS missionary was, in fact, a German Lutheran pioneer named Johann Ludwig Kropf, who arrived in Zanzibar with his wife Rosina in 1844 and then moved to Mombasa in Kenya, where Rosina and her child tragically died. After translating the New Testament into Swahili, Kropf was joined and eventually replaced by the Reverend Johannes Redman, who was the first European to lay eyes on Mount Kilimanjaro. Redman laid the groundwork for what later became the Diocese of East Equatorial Africa, established in 1884 with James Hannington as the first bishop, and Mombasa as its headquarters. Although Hannington was assassinated by Kambaka Muaga II of Buganda two years after the diocese was established, the mission continued to grow and expand into several dioceses, representing the evangelical expressions of Anglicanism in Kenya and Tanzania. In 1864, Bishop William Tozer, along with the Reverend Edward Steer, set up the first UMCA station on the island of Zanzibar, where the Reverend Steer began translating the Bible and hymnal into Swahili. Steer's hymn book, known as Niembo Zadini, remains the primary hymnal for Anglo-Catholics in the Church. In 1926, the Right Reverend Vincent Lucas became the first Bishop of Masasi in southern Tanzania and advocated for the use of local cultural rituals and mission to root the faith of the converts in their own culture. Fanuel Mungongo and Moses Matonya explain, Enculturation and indigenization of the gospel compels the Anglican Church to incorporate some cultural practices into Christianity. Traditional musical instruments and traditional ways of singing are allowed and even encouraged in the church. Traditional styles of blessing farms and praying for the livestock are adapted in the name of Christ. The Anglicans in Tanzania were initially part of the Anglican province of East Africa, but in 1970, the province split into the provinces of Kenya and Tanzania. Theological differences between the Church Missionary Society, CMS, and the university's mission to Central Africa, UMCA, were imported from England to Tanzania, thus dividing the church into two traditions, with evangelical expressions in the northern part of the country and Anglo-Catholic expressions in the south. One of the tasks of the Anglican Church of Tanzania, or ACT, has been finding ways to unite the diverse church, which they have attempted to do by using one shared liturgy and prayer book. The ACT is composed of two and a half million members across 28 dioceses, 27 on the mainland and one in Zanzibar. Social concern and action, especially in the areas of health, education, and relief work have gone hand in hand with evangelism. As the province works towards unity among its evangelical and Anglo-Catholic members, it struggles to remain in full communion with Western provinces of the Anglican communion that support same-sex marriage due to disagreements regarding the interpretation of scripture. Fun fact, the Anglican cathedral in Stonetown, Zanzibar is called Christ Church. Like most buildings in Stonetown, it is made of coral stone and was inspired by the vision of the Reverend Edward Steer, the third bishop of Zanzibar, who died of a heart attack soon before the building was completed in 1882. It was built where the biggest slave market of Zanzibar used to be located, and the altar stands at the exact place where the main whipping post once stood. The cathedral was constructed to celebrate the end of slavery and the glory of Christ the ultimate liberator.